Okay, we're going to be talking about the symbols that are in America, the American symbols, and we know these, but we're going to talk about where did they come from and what do they mean. So why do we see the number 13 everywhere on the American symbols? Let's talk about that first. So um, Abraham was the 10th generation from Shem. Isaac was the 11th generation, which was his son. Jacob was the 12th generation, and Ephraim was the 13th generation. Do y'all see that? So this is where we get the number 13, is from Ephraim, okay? And so that's why you see the number 13 everywhere on our symbols. All right, so here's, again, the tribes. And you could see here that Joseph had two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. They took Joseph out of the alignment and put in Ephraim and Manasseh. And so if you, when you look at them in birth order, you'll see that Ephraim is the 13th in the birth order. He's the last, he's the youngest of all of the, of the tribes. Now, that is the number 13 that shows up, and the father is using that number to help identify this nation, I believe. Now, look at this verse, Genesis 48, verse 19, and he also shall become a people and he shall be great, but truly his younger brother, who was Ephraim, this is taking it out of Genesis 48, when Joseph brought his two sons to be blessed by his father, Jacob. And so he crossed his arms and he, he blessed, gave Ephraim the greater blessing, shall be greater than him, and his seed shall become a multitude of nations. Now, look at the word here for Ephraim. And the word Ephraim means double fruit. It, it means that it is the nation with the double fruit, the, the one that got the double blessing. Do y'all see that? So you had two nations. One was Manasseh. One was Ephraim. These were the two children of Joseph. One, the Manasseh was the older. Ephraim was the younger. And Ephraim was the one that got the blessing. And he, in birth order, was the number 13. Now, we're going to read the story now of, of the dream of Joseph. And this is when he was 17 years old, Genesis 37, verse 6. And he said unto them, Here, I pray thee, this dream which I have dreamed. So he's talking to his brothers. And he said, Behold, we will, were binding sheaves in the field, and the sheaves arose and also stood upright, and behold, they stood around about and made obedience to my sheep. So verse 8, And his brethren said unto him, Shall thou indeed reign over us, or shall we indeed have dominion over us, that they hated him, yes, the more for his dreams and for his words. So he had dreamed this dream that the sheaves all bowed down to him. And so going on, Verse 9, and he dreamed an, another dream, and he told his brethren and said, Behold, I've dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun, moon, and the 11 stars made o obedience to me. So that even made his father mad because his father said, rebuked him, and he said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and your mother and your brothers indeed bow down ourselves to thee in the earth? So he was dreaming a dream that would actually come true. And this was Joseph's dream, but it's in, it's actually in our, our seal. Here's the American seal. And you, you can see this is the actual dream. You have the sheaves here. Uh, you have the, the clouds here for the dream. You had the sky and all the stars, which were represented his brothers. And you have you have 13 of these. Now, this is, like I said, the cloud. This is the night sky. This is thir 13 stars. Now, there's 13 eras on, on the uh, symbol. And there's 13 feathers in the tail feathers of the eagle. And then there's 13 olive leaves and 13 olives. And so you also have the 13 stripes. And so... Do you see the number 13 and how it's appearing? Now, we know that the colonies, there were 13 colonies also, and this is what we're talking about. But now here you have the 
the presidential seal. Okay, here's the presidential seal. And now watch this. You have 50 stars, which represents Jubilee, but she, because America was to be this place of freedom and Jubilee represented freedom. You had 13, again, stripes. You have 13 olive leaves. You have 13 feathers. You have 13 stars. You have 13 eras. Now, you, do you see the number 13 appearing everywhere? And of course, this was because we had 13 colonies to start off with. But interesting, though, is that they they actually show you here that 13 and Ephraim are going to be the same thing. So here's our American flag. We have, again, 13 stripes and 50 stars. Okay, 50 stars meaning freedom, meaning jubilee. And the eagle is our symbol, and he actually points and turns his head to because Ephraim was told that you would push your brothers and to the west. And so he's actually pointing to the west. You see his head is turned toward the west in all of his pictures because he is showing that, that this is a, a western world and he is pointing and pushing the people to the west. Do y'all see that? Now, here's some other symbols that we want to tie in here. This is the Union Jack flag. This is the flag of Britain. And it has the Scottish flag. It has the Scottish flag in the background and the cross on top from Britain. Now, the cross on top is the alignment of the 12 tribes of Israel. They, there was three tribes at the top, three on the east, three on the west, and three on the south. Okay. And that's how they lined up in, in Moses' camp. Now, so it's interesting because this this is also the symbols of the alpha and the top. The alpha is the first letter in the Hebrew alphabet. And you can see the different ways that they write alpha. This was the ancient way. It actually was a bull. This is the next. It's a sideways A. And then it has the X. You can see the alpha there. And the top at one time was an X. So, you know, you can see that it's, it's changed with different versions of Hebrew, but this you had the X and you had the A, and you know, you could see, you can see this, this symbol here that's actually in the background back here. And you can see this symbol that's actually right here. So it's really saying the olive and the ta, or what the Greek said is the, Alpha and the Omega, which meant that was the Messiah that represented the Messiah. And we know that the rep representation of the Messiah is the word. So this symbol that has been carried down through the generations in Britain represents the word of God. And so, and it represents the Messiah. And that was their symbol. Now, here's another flag. And this is the Confederate flag. It has 13 stars. So you see, keep seeing this these symbols popping up, and it has the crossed arms. Now, the crossed arms was when Jacob crossed his arms to actually bless Ephraim and Manasseh. So you see the crossed arms here. Now, in this eclipse that's coming, it started in 2017, it came across, and you can see there's crossed arms here. It actually shows a cross, and I think that one of the things that it, it's representing is that the father's trying to tell this nation who they are, that they are the crossed arms of Ephraim. So look at this. This is the A that we talked about before. That is, that is the A. And it, again, how interesting that A that we see right here is the sideways A represented a bull, it represented a bull. How interesting because the bull is the symbol in scripture for Ephraim. So these are some interesting things that I thought I would bring out so that people could see this and uh, that all of our symbols and, and the father's actually speaking to us now and trying to tell us that we are Ephraim and we are the nation that received the double blessing. So thank you very much.
For more information about this broadcast, please visit our website at www.12tribehistory.com. That is the number 12, tribehistory.com, or email us at lwatson44 at cox.net with any questions or comments.